Well, one of my favorite apps for the Mac recently got updated this week, and it's a major, major upgrade. It's called Tumult Hype. It's called Hype, H-Y-P-E. Uh, oh, two years ago, I did a couple of videos, including how you could use this to actually make a an iOS app. So what is Hype? Hype is a HTML5 animation tool. HTML5 is what a lot of the websites uh, now are made of, including videos, and YouTube has HTML5, so you can watch it on the iPhone. And Hype came out a couple of years ago, and um, anyways, the upgrade is you have to buy it as a separate new app in the Mac App Store, and also from their website, and um, till September 10th, it's only $30, $29.99, and it's version 2.0, and basically, it's a keyframe animation tool and uh, allows you to do animations in HTML5. In the old days, people used Flash, but everything's moving to HTML5. It's lighter, easier to use. So this allows you to make simple animations, and it's now uh, up to version 2.0. And so what are some of the main features? If you go to Hype's website at tumult.com slash hype, they have a nice page that takes you through the major overviews. I'll tell you, I think some of the major overviews are this. Um, they came out with a free app, so you can actually see what it would look like on your iPhone or iPad. It's called uh, Hype Reflect, and it only works on local Wi-Fi if you uh, are in the same network as the, um, the Hype uh, program on. Uh, so basically, it's got a lot of support for how HTML5 websites will look on mobile devices, which is great. So that's pretty cool. The other big thing is audio actions. Um, now audio as well as video is fully supported and you can do all sorts of crazy stuff. You can put um, audio into, uh, into the resource library and have different formats depending on what web pages see it. But also you can um, use uh, audio actions in Hype for automations, like have them run when the timeline's going. The motion paths now support curved motions. You can now also download all sorts of zillions of Google fonts and use other fonts. The other thing for mobile, and it supports swipe and touch events. So you can make your website, you know, sort of operate by touch touch events on, on an uh, iPhone or iPad. Also, there's things like, um, you know, enhanced visibility for search engines. Um, additionally, there's a, in addition to square shapes, there's ellipses. Uh, there's a lot of things, a JavaScript improvement, uh, and I don't know, those to me are the big things. But let me give you uh, an overview of really what it looks like. I've done a little sort of demo, and I think maybe that's the best way to sort of see what's going on. Okay, so this is what Hype 2 looks like. Um, it has the same layout as before, and you know, you basically have your scene creator here. Now, I've created a number of scenes. I've got uh, an opening scene. What I've done is I put some buttons here that take you to the other um, the other uh, scenes. So it's almost like building an iOS app. iOS app. You can just create some buttons. Uh, and then I also created this um, sort of uh, elliptical, just objects moving around. And I embedded some audio here. And then I did this other thing, which is kind of cool, which is have some uh, pictures go on touch uh, motion, um, go from left to right. And then the fourth, I got really tricky, uh, I, using JavaScript, which is on the um, which is on the website, gives you a little tutorial on how to use JavaScript. I can actually grab this thing, put it here. It senses when it's close to the square and in the square, and then it says warmer or colder and then gives me a little reward. That's a little complicated. And then just a basic video. So let's see what it looks like in the um, Safari browser. And I'm gonna launch browser, here we go. Okay, so here's what it looks like in a Safari browser. And um, I'll just show you, I'll click uh, first. 
uh, and I get this little animation. And like in this animation, just goofing around, I have like these squares flying, and they go back and forth. Uh, this is based on a timeline. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's basically, I've got like a sound. Let me see if I can get that going for you. I don't know if you he can hear that, but that's the sound playing when I hit that button. So that's in the animation. You don't want to use sound too much. Now, if I use a swipe action, it switches to the next scene. And here I just did some other sort of test animation, you know, just dots going around and going off and on. I did that in a timeline. And let's see, I switch again. Now this is kind of interesting. This is, um, this is, this is um, a, um, like if you had photos and I just drift over there and it senses my mouse is over there. And if I want to go back, I just drift over here. So you could just show off um, a whole bunch of pictures. And if I go in the middle, it stops it. So this is kind of cool. You could do like pictures on a uh, on a website, and uh, it's actually not that hard to do that. I'm gonna swipe left, and now this is really interesting. I have uh, I have um, let's see. I have this like little device and a little guy, and I can drag him, and when I get right on top, it says you are a winner. And uh, I actually had a sound triggered, but you can't hear it. And when you go over here, it says, nice try. So it's pretty cool. You can maybe even make a game using HTML5. And then I just have a button here and it just takes me to a video that I've embedded in. So as you can see, you can do a lot with uh, hype. There's a lot to do. Now, one of the cool features I mentioned is you can now preview your your HTML5 website or animation uh, not only in browsers but in um, in uh, in your iPhone. And uh, so, let's see. I have it here. I'm going to go to my uh, I iPhone, and but you can also do it if you have Xcode in the iPhone simulator. Let's see if we can launch that. So it's uh, this project. Uh, it's taking a little while to load, but it will load. Let's see. Uh, there it is. Um, well, it's not there yet. There it is. It's uh, it's taking its time. It's um, all right. So here it is. I have. Um, let me get the simulator back. I'm going to rotate it. I think it looks better in. Um, in horizontal mode so this is what it would look like uh, if I go to first now if I press that button I think it's it's gonna work well but swipe does work see there's swipe I swiped left I'm gonna swipe left again and then if I hold my mouse here, see it moves over, slides over the pictures. If I move mouse back over here, it slides back, senses the touch. And um, I'm going to go to this thing. Now I can grab this. There we go. And when it goes away, it knows that I missed. The object is to put it on the square. So you can see it on the simulator. And uh, let's see if I can show you what it looks like on the, um, on the iPhone app. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the iPhone. Actually, you can. this is what the app looks like. Um, and um, basically, this is reflecting 
from the browser, I mean, from the hype app on my Mac through Wi-Fi to this app. And you've got a choice. You can go to some of the scenes so you can actually navigate and test out how some of the scenes are going. I, I put this in uh, horizontal mode because I think it, uh, landscape mode, I, can, I think it works better that way. I can navigate the different scene pages I have. I can uh, see what the video looks like. Um, go back to the opening. Uh, other things you can do is you can refresh. If you um, you know updated something in your Hype app on the Mac, you can refresh it. Um, you can also, let's see, what is this? You can, you can check the con console if you have code in there. And then you can also send it to your uh, browser on your iPhone. Because from there, you can um, save it to your home screen, which means you could make it like a, um, you could make it a home screen app. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add it, an app, and then launch it. And then it becomes, now it takes a while to launch, but it's launching as a, um, as a web app on my iPhone. So let's see if I press that. I can control, you know, the little guy. So it's um it's pretty cool. So anyways, I you know, I recommend Hype uh, too because I think it can do a lot of things. You could create web apps for like an iPhone or Android device. You could uh, just create really great animations. Uh, on websites using Tumult Hype uh, 2.0, and right now it's only 30 bucks. It's going to 60 bucks. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can actually embed it in an iOS native app through Xcode uh, on a Mac and put it on an iPhone or an iPad. And um, a couple of years ago, I did a tutorial, and I'll link that here at the end of this uh, video too. That tutorial using PhoneGap. Uh, I haven't been able to do it with PhoneGap uh, with this release because I'm running Mavericks and the uh, I, uh, Xcode beta, uh, Xcode 5 beta, and so PhoneGap won't work with that. But I did find a way to put it on in a native app, uh, Hype uh, HTML5 project using just some simple. Uh, objective C coding in um, Xcode. So I'm going to show that and I'll try to put a link to that too. So check it out. Subscribe to my uh, channel because uh, you will see that uh, that video that I'm hoping to get out soon. So check it out.